welcome again to our channel. Uh, we are We Vlog, where the West meets. The oh no, east. the other way around, where the West meets the yeah. East. <laughs> I'm always saying, like, you are from the West and I'm from the West. Yeah, well, so he is Lithuanian, I'm Portuguese, and we are doing these reacts. We are very European, <laughs> as Pro we can. European, yeah. yeah, proper European, as we can see. European maids. Um, and uh, we are here to react to the new selections, the new songs that were selected to the Eurovision contest 2022. The country that we're doing today, I think you guys have noticed, Ukraine! It's a very big country, the second largest country in Europe. I didn't know that. And it's famous for its blue skies and uh, endless fields of wheat. It's an agricultural superpower. A uh, good chunk of the world depends on food from Ukraine. I and love that. I'm just learning so many things from you. I didn't know. I didn't random know. Random pieces of trivia, probably. Wow, wow. I didn't know serious. that. But oh, gosh. it's really good at participating in Eurovision. Oh my god. So oh it my has god. Uh, two winners. If I recall correctly, so they have the Jim. Wild Dances. The Wild Dances I love! With Ruslana from Ruslana. 2000, uh, was it 2003, I think? I don't know. I, do, I, I, yeah. I always miss the... Early I mean, 2000s. And then we had uh, Jamala in oh, 2016. I love Jamala. But even when they don't win... They're good! Like they're Cham! Awesome. Yeah. Cham! Cham, go, yeah. Go, go, uh, um, I, just, I just love them, you know I mean? like They are like, for me, I mean, I have to be... Honest, for me, they're one of the best uh, contestants in the Eurovision, As like well. of all times. I think they never failed to pass a semi final. <laughs> they have the name. <gasps> what is this? Such a interesting. Name. Siberian. I love the costume. I love the visuals. I love the visuals. I love the visuals. I love the visuals. God. And the visuals, the hands. Okay. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I got emotional. Oh my god. I'm really emotional. I got so emotional. You know, I think I got emotional because of the <laughs> like these kind of shunts. They make me like they touch me a lot. Like and I think she sings so through the heart, I have no idea what she's singing because we don't have subtitles in this one. Because um, this is the original, like it's from it's it's not the Eurovision contest um, YouTube channel. It's really I went online to their you know their original TV. Oh my god! I just a voice, a charm, like a performance, the visuals. It looks like a gospel. It does look like a ritual. So you have a, a, a bunch of uh, instrumentalists and singers uh, standing behind her in a semicircle. And then she's in the middle in this almost uh, like a kind of like priest attire, like some pagan priest. And then sort of making this chant, making this song to the ancestors. Oh gosh. Uh, it's 
It's quite impressive. Um, I'm shocked. Uh, one, one thing that I did sort of <laughs> notice, the chord progression in the chorus was uh, quite um, a safe one, but uh, the verse, they were playing around with it, with it, I think, so much that at some point it appeared to me, is she singing in tune or out of tune? And it seemed a little bit complex, I think, for Eurovision area. And you can either nail it and okay. completely impress everybody, or miss a note slightly, and then people think you're singing out of tune. So it's quite a risky yeah, move, I'd I say. Yeah, I mean, in the beginning, I felt a bit like, are they a bit out of tune? Like, yeah. the, the beginning was a bit odd, because she went, like, really low, and... But then, uh, when she goes high, it's yeah. like her, her strongest. Let's not get ahead of this. My folks are best described in weddings of Japan. One for all, an awful one. Nowadays, time to put a freedom, the divine tragedy. But we be cast as God, it's the divine strategy. And my job goes, but we toy toes. But I wrote these words here, because my very toe will be like the right, though. Just like the brothers scream, I leave behind a piece of me. The man we have sisters, the rest of your own history. And pictures. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh my god. It's very traditional, like the, the, the ones behind her. I've seen it. I've seen you have the shams. I've seen the, the costumes behind, like I have friends who are Ukrainians and they dress like that in the National Day. She has an amazing voice. It's beautiful. Oh, that's lovely. Impressive. <sighs> And a lot of things happening there. And oh my god, I'm just like emotional. <laughs> oh my god. And she has like trees in her head. Are yeah, these trees? It, it looks it looks like a like a like a branch is growing out of her hair. Oh my gosh. And the the the, the this like photos from the past and ancestors and stuff that like, really touches me. Like it's about well, like, you know, grandparents and stuff. So Oh my gosh. And now knowing what's happening in the Ukraine just makes me even more emotional. I feel this song very much captures sort of uh, the... captures the feeling, I think, of the situation. She feels the like... The tensions well, she between Russia and Ukraine. That's... And I think it's almost like a rallying cry, sort of. It's... I would say this song is very political and they're trying not to be. But trying to be more about sort of remember your family, but it is a statement. It is a it statement. Is. And uh, there's some things that I've noticed. So there is a lot of black and white photos coming across. And I'm wondering how many of these photos are of people who have perished during, during invasions. During the invasions. Uh, so during the uh, civil war, then you had uh, the invasion by the Germans. And before the invasion of the Germans, uh, there was uh, this huge campaign to take the lands away from uh, uh, the Ukrainian peasants. So a lot of it seems to be like a cry to remember all of those lost back in mm. the day. Uh, the red attire, sort of the blood spilt. Yeah. And there's one interesting thing I saw at the, ba at the end of it. So there was this collage in the shape of the map of Ukraine. Oh, I love and that. And the one thing I've noticed is she stands right in the spot where you would expect to see Crimea and it sort of gives this ambigui ambiguity where is it a statement uh, that, you know, this is Ukraine, Crimea has been taken from us. Oh my gosh, I didn't even see that. Because the... Uh, the <laughs> World community recognizes Crimea as being part of Ukraine by law. I think now would be the time the Ukraine will win again. In my opinion. Because this, for me, it's a winning song. I mean, I, I, I'm, I'm giving a 10. I really love it. Maybe 9, because I didn't like the rap part. 
It sounds a bit like the nineties rap. Oh, yo, yo. Yeah, you try, you try to you try to bring on that sort of fusion, and uh, <laughs> no, it doesn't work. You either go the whole way. I really liked it. I think it's very now. It's it's something that we should hear now. Like it's very relevant for today. So I give it a nine. You rate? It's hard. The performance itself. <laughs> you can do half points as well. It's not just like. <laughs> Okay, I think I think I would give it an eight. An eight, okay. An eight, yeah. Okay, okay, more modest. Okay, there we. So it's like eight point five if we do the. Good luck, Ukraine. I hope you guys participate. I'm not sure if you guys are going to be in it or not, but hopefully you guys do because I'm sh certain that you guys are going to go to the finals if you guys do participate with this song. Yeah, definitely. There's a lot of sympathy among the viewers, and I mm, think there's a well. good chance of progressing as well. See you guys See you. for the next video. Until the next one. And please put like. Like and subscribe. subscribe. <laughs> and uh, what do they also do? They push bell for notifications. <laughs> uh, <laughs> everything, everything. Yeah. Like, subscribe, push bell.